Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 I'm a Lover Challenge. We're here with Kendra, because she's the only one that's up right now, and the baby, obviously. But um, I'm going to have her come over here and take care of him real quick. Go ahead and give him a bottle. You can go ahead and snuggle him. You can play with him. And then go ahead and change Timothy, and then he should be okay. He doesn't really need to be changed, but I'm going to do it anyways. Alright, then you can snuggle him again. Then you can put him in his crib, and then I'll let you go ahead and take care of your needs. Um, I'm going to tell everybody else what they need to do as well. And he you can come on over here. Garrett's carpool will be here in about an hour. Okay, Garrett, let's get moving, buddy. Oh, did she wake you up? That's okay. She's taking care of your son, so you be nice. You be nice, boy. You be not real nice. Um, he is in the science career, if you guys forgot. He needs to work on the gardening skill. But right now, in the winter, it's really hard. But spring is about to be here, so it's exciting. Um, I feel like every one of my games at this point right now is in winter. So I'm going from one game where it's winter to the next game where it's winter. And it's just like, can I get out of winter? <laughs> So hopefully that is a yes. Hopefully we'll be getting out of winter in this game anyways. Alright. Uh, he needs a bath. Um, so give him a bath. Then you're going to have to snuggle him again. Then put him in here. Then you're going to mop up the puddle. Then you're going to take care of yourself hopefully. And we can go from there. She doesn't have work because obviously she just had the baby. So... He'll be aging up in a couple of days. One day, actually. So he ages up tomorrow. Alright, that's fine. And this is a Friday, so it's like the only day left of this week to work. Poor baby has some diaper rash now because of um, changing his diapy. He didn't, he didn't really appreciate that very much. But, you know what? He's just going to have to live with himself. Let me tell you. Uh, tonight is a full moon, so that'll be interesting. Um... Something is really loud. Wow. Okay, that was way too loud. Like, made me want to pull my eardrums out of my head so I didn't have to listen to it anymore. But that was a weird analogy. Oh my goodness, that was just, it freaks me out to think about that now. <laughs> I meant pull my headset off of my head so I don't have to listen to it anymore. But I talked about pulling my eardrums out, so that is odd. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, gardening. He's good. He is unemployed. We're going to get him into the medical career in just a second. I'm going to have him go get a job on the computer right here. Um, go ahead and... Where's find a job? Jobs and professions. Find job. Um, actually, nobody has worked today. That was such a lie. He doesn't have work today because we have to go to graduation. So, once uh, Kendra is done drink drinking, done eating, we're going to go ahead and have everyone head over to let um, Caden graduate. Because he totally needs to. He looks older than his brother now. It's so funny. Because he's got facial hair, I think. And it just makes him look like much older than he was. Alright, he needs medical. Here we go. So, he's going to be an organ donor. And he wants to talk about his new job. So why don't you go tell your brother about your new job. Be like, hey, bro, guess what? I got a, I got a job. <laughs> Announce birthday. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Um, give a graduation gift. Get to know him. I don't... Compliment... I'm so confused. Where are those at? Where's talk? Talk about new job. It's not his birthday. He's got a long time before he ages. 16 days. And you've got uh, 26 now. Yeah, I don't know why you'd give him a birthday gift. That is odd. It should be like him giving him the gift, don't you think? I would think so. 
I don't know. Kind of weird. All right, Kendra, eat that up, and then we are going down to the city halls. Alright. You can definitely tell he's more bulk than he is, but that's okay. Okay, I got rid of that, so there we go. And she is finished eating, so that is great. Because we do need to get everyone down there so he can graduate. Obviously, I don't think the baby is coming with us. Um, I'm thinking that they're going to leave the baby home, but <laughs> you never know. We could be the crazed. We're totally going to be the crazed people. Yep, we're crazy. We're crazy McCrazerston. Also, I want to definitely go see her kids. Like, I feel like I never get to see her kids because we're always, we're always so busy. And so I feel like we kind of need to definitely make sure that we spend some time with our other children as well. Not just these children in the households. Oh, yeah. I really like her outerwear. I forgot about that. I think everyone changes out into their outerwear now. So it's kind of like tedious. First they change into their formal and he changes into his graduation gown. And now everyone changes it back out of that and into outerwear. It's like, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Kendra. You're taking forever. It's kind of funny because Caden and Kendra both start with a K. And then we have uh, Timothy and Garrett. Right. Come on, lady. Get yourselves in the car. And I don't think uh, he's going to get be a problem at the ceremony. At least I hope not, anyways. Because sometimes when I bring my babies, uh, they get all crying and all that during the ceremony. It's kind of just like, you know, it's like those people who bring their kids to the movie theater. You're trying to watch a movie and the kid is crying. It just makes you want to turn around and punch the parent in the face. But... um. That's kind of what it is like at a graduation ceremony as well, though. I would never bring my baby to a graduation ceremony. I would find a babysitter for my child and be like, you know what? That's good. May <laughs> Raza. I love how they change back into their form wear, but he's still in his outerwear. Like, he hasn't changed back to graduation robes yet. And he's not going to. He's only going in, in his outerwear. So, you know what? Whatever. Yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do, boy. This is a clown one. I hate the clown ones. They freak me out. I don't like clowns. Clowns are creepy. Oh, who's this? Jared Reinhardt is paparazzi, though. I don't see anyone else coming here for graduation. Am I the only child that graduated? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Like, being the only one in your class? <laughs> That's the way it looks. That is the way it looks. I am going to let everyone go out to lunch or whatever after this. Oh, wait. There are some people already in there, I guess. Look at We're not the only crazy people who brought their kid. All right. Caden has graduated from Nature and Nurture Learning Academy with highest honors. Classmates have voted him most likely to become a sports star. The future is bright for this young graduate. Okay. And we got 291 for personal time off. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and go out and do something. I kind of don't want to bring the baby, but I mean, we've already got the child in our arms now, so there's nothing I can do. Kind of looks like some of the snow is melting, but I don't think so yet. I don't think so yet, but it will be here soon. Why don't we go to, why don't we go to the, um, the, uh, Tiny Prodigy's Early Learning Center. They can learn skills over there, so we could go over there and they could build skills well, there. Oh, yeah. Just put your kid down in the snow because that's totally what we do. <laughs> that's totally normal. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't leave your child. Oh, God. I almost had a heart attack. Who's this? Oh, that's that, that Mara Severkinov lady. She's so pretty. Um, I do want Caden to wait for his girlfriend. She is still a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I totally told you to go by yourself and I meant for you to go with everybody else. Holds up, darling. Don't go without everybody. All right, take everyone with you. There you go. 
Timothy is not happy with me right now, but that's okay. At least he got everyone on their way. I meant to bring everyone, and I almost <laughs> goofed that one. I was kind of hoping that our... Oh, there's Tabitha Sevierkanov. I was kind of hoping that our, our girlfriend was going to age up today, but I don't think so. I don't think she uh she's aged up yet. And I don't know how close she is, but we can invite her over and kind of ask how old she is and see how much younger than, than us she is. And that would kind of give us like a guesstimate of how close she is to leveling up, or leveling up, aging up. So that would be something we could do. And it wouldn't be too bad. It would be pretty easy. Okay, so here we are, and the nice thing about this is there's cribs here, so if we need to put the baby down um, so we can build a scale or something, we've totally got that option. Yeah, the baby's too young to learn anything here, but it doesn't really matter because, um, because we can always bring her back over when she is ready to, to work on that. Okay, <clears throat> so your skills um, for work, what do you need? You need logic, and how high are you on logic? A four. Okay, so we're going to let you build some logic skill. Um, I think there might be a telescope that you could use. Yep, right here. Go ahead and search the galaxy. And I love that it's inside for the fact that he doesn't get cold in the winter time for that. Um, for his, his is gardening. I could possibly maybe have him read a book on it, but I really don't think, um, I don't know if there's any skill books over here, to be honest with you. I haven't really looked ever before, so let's look right now. Are there any skill books in here? Nope. How about this one? Nope. Okay, so there obviously isn't any skill books in those two, but are there any other bookshelves? Wait, was that a bookshelf? No, but there's a chess table there. I don't see any other bookshelves. So, really for him, it's just kind of whatever he wants to do. He wants to actually upgrade some objects. So why don't we go ahead and just let him start with upgrading these or something. Let's see, can you upgrade these? Maybe not. Maybe that's a little bit too extensive. <laughs> Maybe he's not quite that ready. All right, make that self-cleaning. I think he'll get money for doing it here on this lot because of one of the mods that I have in from Enros. And then Mom is going to go ahead and take care of the baby real quick. She's going to go ahead and feed him because I know he's hungry. Oh, what was this? Three is a crowd? No, I don't want to dial it down. Or I want to dial it down to me. Um, go ahead and give that baby a bottle. And then we are going to take care of that social need. So you can go ahead and... Um, snuggle him, play with him, snuggle him, and then I am going to go ahead and put him in the crib, and then she's working on writing, so I'm going to go ahead and let her work on her book here while we're here. So write some, continue writing that book, and you should be pretty good. Alright, so everyone's at least working on something, and it's kind of nice because we're also inside. All right, so no severe Kanov is having a party. Let's check it out. It's at 8.59. It's in swimwear. And, yeah, we'll go. We'll go to it because we don't really have anything better to do today. So, I mean, we're just going to build skills until then. And then we can kind of go over there uh, for the party. And then after the party, we'll just, like, you know, we'll go back home. Yeah, we're going to take the baby with us to the party, which is not really what you should be doing. But, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. See, I like this. It's kind of really cute. You could run like a, if you could run like a daycare kind of thing out of this, it would be so cool. But you can't run the daycare out of like a building. You can only run it out of your own home. So, that's fine. But as long as he stays in the crib, which he's getting pretty tired anyways, um, as long as he's in there, he should be okay. And you wanted to skate in a pond with her? Oh, we're going to have to do that. If we're going to do that, we're going to have to do it now. Um, is there a pond nearby this lot? Well, there's this, but that never, I don't think that ever freezes, does it? Yeah, it should have, but it, it didn't. But it didn't. Oh, that is a lot. I was like, I don't see a lot there, friend. Let's hope it's laying it. 
proud parent. What? It's a proud moment when your child graduates from school. It's almost like... Whoa. <laughs> uh, Cadence... Sub... Giants worth 140 simoleons. Perfect. So it's probably when your child graduates from school, it's almost like the honor is being bestowed on yourself. And then also, proud sibling. Must be because he had to take over as, like, the parent figure for the family, I guess. I don't have a clue. Really don't. Geeks, nerd, and aliens are will all, all will delight with each page of Kendra's latest science fiction trek through the depths of technology. Space Boy is a bold tour de force that attempts to combine the best elements of the genre. She's going to get 86 simoleons six times. All right. She also wants to watch a movie, so we could totally do that. But I do want her to start another book because uh, she obviously didn't uh, improve that. So let's see. Let's see right here. Uh, comics. Start a comic. I think it's under more. Write a comic book. Start a comic book. Um, I do apologize if you guys can hear that idiot outside. He is really annoying me today. He's like being so stupid. The lawnmower is just sitting there. He's not even on it. What an idiot. All right. So we are going to go to the party in just a little bit of time. He also wants to discover five stars. Okay. So we could work on this with you. It's something that gives us something to work on with you. That's good. I don't really know how you see out of that window because it's so frosty, but sure. <laughs> we'll just smile and nod our heads like we know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I one time tried to turn this lot into a house because I just like the looks of the outside of it. I just really liked it. And I was like, oh, I totally want to. And then I tried to, like, build it. But how the heck did they do this? This is a fence. So how the heck did they put this on here? I have no idea. I guess it's because there's, like, I don't know. It's, it's the weirdest thing to me. I really don't understand how it works. Um, so... I was like, oh, I'm totally going to build like a house kind of like this because I couldn't, because I couldn't turn this one into something that I liked the look of it. So I was like, oh, I'll just try and build something kind of cool like it. Yeah, right. Good luck. <laughs> and nothing came out looking close. So that's the only thing. If he could just finish this, that'd be great. Let me speed you up a little bit. I think the baby is okay, right? Oh, I meant to hit this one. Uh, he's gonna be okay at some point. He does need to potty soon. And if I had a changing table here in this lot, which really it should have one, um, then I would just use it for him, but I don't. Um, so we're just gonna have to wait for him to pee himself. And then we can go from there. Okay. I think pretty much everybody is ready to go to the party, I believe. So we are going to go ahead and tell everyone to stop. Dad is going to go pick up his son because he does need to do that. And you are going to go ahead and stop. Well, I think you're stopping anyways. I'm going to quickly have you go downstairs and use the bathroom if you can. If you can. Who is this? I have no idea. Emil. Emil Olsen. All right, go here. All right, and once Dad picks him up, I am telling him to take everybody to the party. So it's not going to be long. So he has like five seconds. Okay, there we go. All righty then. Let's go to the party. Where's the party out? The reason I didn't tell him to just attend it is because I want to take everyone with me. Oh, is this at our old house? Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is totally at our old house. How funny is that that someone moved into our old house already? Um, excuse me? Mara is out at the moment. Can you guys attend this? Well, you know what? Why is it so you guys are on a date? And that date. Um, go here with everybody. Go to the party with everyone. That's what we're trying to do anyways. If you want 
to go to the party with me? Then let's go get your bummy moving quick. Luckily. Okay, is she already outside? Oh yeah, she's like waiting next to the road. She is like, boy, you've been taking too long. You've been taking too long to get to the car. The heck? Let me go to the stupid party. With all of my family. You can tell we lived here because we left stuff outside. So it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of funny that somebody already moved in. Totes the thing. Where are you going? You gotta take the baby with you, dorky face. Dorky porky pudding pie. Kiss the girls and made them cry. Come on. Pick the baby up. Let's go. Get outside, everybody. Let's get moving. I think he just needs a diaper change. So other than that, I think the baby is okay. Well, he's tired, but we'll fix that when we get there. We'll fix him up real good. All right, so move your little butt dunk Barunk-a-dunk, barunk-a-dunk, barunky dunk 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 Okay. Can we go in now? It says that he's, um... It says that they're not here. But, I mean, it's supposed to be a party, so... That's totally a thing. All right, I know upstairs there is a baby crib, so we're going to go ahead and change our sun real quick. Hold on. Hold up. There's no pool here, so why are you got us all in um, our skivvy jivvies? No idea. All right, change the baby's diaper and then put Timothy in the crib for... And so we have to go, and then we should be fine. Look at how funny it is that um, you can tell that we live here because I don't remember this house. Totes remember it. Um, otherwise, we're sh we should be fine. Uh, before you put him in the crib, too, why don't you go ahead and um, give him a bottle? You can go ahead and snuggle him a bit. It's like he feels kind of at home here, I feel. It's kind of funny. Kinds of funnies. Um,. Yeah, it's so weird being back here. Like, I remember everything that happened here. Like, these are all our snowmen. Remember when we had to make all those five snowmen? It was too funny. Alright, you want to play some Sim Nub, but I don't think they have Sim Nub, friend. Why don't you come out here and light this up, though? We'll roast some stuff on it or something. I don't know. And you can come out here and sit next to it. And, uh, you can put the baby back in the crib. And so we leave. I'm going to sit here. Let's light it up and light it up real good. We'll roast some, like, stuff that maybe we have in our inventories. Do you have any, like, apples or anything? You have some pumpkins. We could each roast a pumpkin. Why not? Roast a pumpkin over a campfire. Alright, roast up that pumpkin. Come on, you can do it. He's like, yes, I can. Uh, she can go ahead and roast up a pumpkin as well. And he can go ahead and... Whoa! That pumpkin is huge. <laughs> oh, man. Stop roasting a marshmallow and roast the pumpkin. This is amazing. <laughs> it's just huge. <laughs> Look how huge they are! <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> we could have done some of this stuff, but no, I choose a pumpkin for everyone. <laughs> He's like, <whistles> like, look at him try to eat it. <laughs> it goes around his head as he eats it. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> pumpkin on a stick. <laughs> pumpkin on a stick. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you say pumpkin head? <laughs> this is so funny. 
<laughs> They're so huge. But it does put up their hunger, so that's good. Okay, you can go home if you want. And you need to use the El Abano, so let's get you inside so you can use it real quick. Go ahead and use it. Oh, snap. Oh, I forgot he has that. That's so cool. Go ahead and hold him, and then I'll let you go home. And when you're done, I'll let you go home, too. Oh, it's got, like, snow on it. Oh, or it's ro f rotten. <laughs> One or the other. Um, I don't think it's rotten, but that's too funny. Pumpkin on a stick or pumpkin on a head? Which one? <laughs> I'm going to title this. Pumpkin on a stick or pumpkin head? <laughs> oh, man. Highlight of the video. <laughs> Never seen someone try to eat a pumpkin like that before. No, don't drink that. All right, I'm going to go over with him because I want to make sure that everyone gets up to their bed so they can, you know, be rested and well for tomorrow. So go ahead and sleep. And when you get here, because I know you're on the way, you can go ahead and sleep as well. And then I will get back over here with you, make sure that you get the baby, get out of the house, and um, don't leave him behind. This dog is just sleeping on the couch. She doesn't even care. The Perry's moved into the house, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, the Severkinov. No Severkinov. Yeah, he moved into the house with, I think, that dog. But Noah's kind of cute. Look at him. He kind of reminds me of Caden, to be honest. Or Garrett, I mean, to be honest. And Mara lives here as well. So it's kind of funny that we got to see our old house at a party. I like that. I like the aspect that people will move around, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want them all to come back here. No, don't go home. Just go home. I already told this lady to go to bed. The poor girl is like, oh man, I gotta go catch up with my husband. He's waiting on me. And, <laughs> and she should have been home by now. The poor girl. He totally had her like go back for him. It was so sad. So sad. We need to do the hot air balloon. I haven't really messed with it much, but I do want to mess with it a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Um, so you go ahead and do that, and I'm going to get you to put... Actually, before you do that, let me get you to grab the gifts. So go ahead and get the mail. Accept the gifts from a friend. You can't do it with the baby in your arms. Oh my goodness. Alright, so put Timothy in the crib here, and then I'll have you up all the way back downstairs just so you can do this. So you can go ahead and get the mail and accept the gifts, and then I'll have you go back upstairs again just so you can go back to bed. It's like the stupidest thing in my life. Stupidest thing in my life. I could have had her do it, but that's okay. Who needs the points? He's got 18,000. She's got 8,000. So we'll do it on Caden. Uh, so that I can get him the meditative trance sleep so that he sleeps faster, which will be great. Good night, everybody in this room. The lights will go out because they're both going to fall asleep. He, that, baby, that poor baby is exhausted, I'm sure of it. Well, maybe not because he was in the crib over there, so he was probably sleeping. We probably woke him, which is like the worst thing to do to a child while they're sleeping. But um, he's probably not as tired, to be honest. He's halfway. He needs some social, though, unfortunately. So he's probably going to wake us up in the middle of the night because he needs social. But I wanted to make sure that I got the gifts in this because I don't want to um, miss out on the gifts for this LP. And I think there was a couple for it, I believe. Don't hold me to it, please. <laughs> All right, we got a letter from Shona Beaker. It says, you, me, it's happening. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Woo. Okay. Um... This is from Possess a Girl 1015. It says, please give this to any LP that you're currently playing in. Okay. And we just got a duck. So thank you so much for that. And I honestly can't send back gifts. I do apologize. Um, but uh, when I can, I will. This is from Quilter 2010. It says, for Kelly in the I'm a Lover Challenge. Unfortunately, Kelly is no longer with us. So I will take it for um, the boys. And it says, love this fam bam. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that. Uh, keep up the good work. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for the Modern Tour Share floor lamp. Um, moving on up. That's Oh, Rebuild the City. Shoot, I just recorded that too. Oh, no. This is from Hockey Bell. It's a message from the game. going to take it here. We got a television. Thank you so much for that. Um, this is from Liz Knight, Liz Knight 2. Liz Knight, Liz Knight or Liz Knight. I'm not sure. I hope I didn't butcher it too badly. Probably did. It says, please use... Oh, never mind. Um, this is from Mini Amy 2014. It says, thanks for the fern. Well, you're so very welcome. And thank you for the Photon Master 3000 Tabletop Edition lamp. Lamp. <laughs> this is from Dina08. It says, hello, Becky. Uh, G baby, I would prefer, please. I love to watch your videos, and you are a sweet person. Aw, thank you so much for saying that. You can use this gift for any LP. Thank you for the gift. Aw, well, thank you so much for saying those really kind words. It really means a lot. And uh, you're so very welcome for the gift. And thank you for the Genesis building blocks, which um, I'm sure we could probably use at some point in life. Um, this is from Rain Rainbow Kitties 99. It's a message from the game. I'm gonna go and take it here. We got a flask of Angry Bees. Thank you so much. I'm not sure I'm gonna set this upon myself. Maybe somebody in town that I don't like. So that'll be great. And uh, that's that's it for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him head on back upstairs. We got a letter for Garrett from Shona Beaker again. It says, I know this is coming out of nowhere, but I think you should take a chance on me. I'm a lot of fun, and I think we'd be great together. Well, you know what? Garrett's married and has a kid, so back off. Um, De Devin also sent Garrett a letter saying, I know this might surprise you, but I'm crazy about you. I think we should get together and see what happens. Uh, Devin, he's married. Oh my goodness, one for Garrett again from Janika. Says, okay, keep an open mind for a second while I paint you a picture. You, me, together. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel, feel sick to my stomach because you're my boss. So, that's a thing. Oh my goodness, Garrett got another one from Mara Severkanov. Says, I've been dreaming of you and me getting together. Will you make my dreams come true? No. <laughs> Kendra got one from August Olsen. It says, I've been too shy to say it in person, but I really care about you a lot. Do you feel something for me? Uh, nope. She's married. Has multiple children by two different guys. So, that's the only thing. And, um, yeah. All those people who are trying to hit on my people, knock it off. Because I am over it. But, guys, I don't know why I just made this small screen. But, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... If you guys did, there is a donation link in the description below. Also, there is links to my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, and my Twitch. So if you want to check any of those out, please feel free. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.